Hello students, welcome to Veranda IS. From the current affairs of science and technology, in this session we will be discussing about NHP Bhuvan portal. The learning objectives of this particular session will be to explain the National Hydrology Project Bhuvan portal, also known as NHP Bhuvan portal, then examine the NHP Bhuvan portal in news, then we will list the NHP project components and then we will explain the National Hydrology Project. We will also list down the major components of the hydrology project. So with that, let's first introduce ourselves to what do we mean by the, or what is it basically, NHP Bhuvan portal. The National Remote Sensing Center has built a web portal named Bhuvan National Hydrology Project based on the Bhuvan Geo platform. So remember what it is, it is a web portal developed by National Remote Sensing Center. Okay, and what is its name? Bhuvan NHP. Okay, or we can say NHP Bhuvan also. So it is just same, same meaning and it is created on the Bhuvan Geo portal. Further, this project serves as a repository for different geospatial hydro products developed as a part of National Remote Sensing Center, NHP investigations and includes tools for visualizing, querying and downloading the products. So this is portal where there is, it is a kind of repository where you can find various products related to the National Hydrology project. Moving on. Uh, what was the news regarding it? Now, on 29th June 2021, Dr. K. C. 1, Secretary to Department of Space and Chairman of uh, ISRO, uh, who is also the Chairman of ISRO, unveiled the Bhuvan NHP project developed by the NRS, NRSC, that is National Remote, Sur Remote Sensing Center, in the presence of Secretary, Department of Water Resources, River Development and Ganga Regeneration. So, point is, it was inaugurated on 29th June 2021 by Dr. K. Sivan, who is the Secretary to Department of Space and also the Chairman of ISRO. So that's why we are studying this. So let's move ahead and see its components. So what are the NHP project components? So first one, development of real-time operational spatial flood early warning system. Nowadays, if you are seeing, uh, it's not to the time when we can say that like it is raining for three four days and now the flood is going to happen what we are witnessing if you are going on the news and all those things that we come to know that okay there is there is directly a flood so which we are calling as flood what you can say the flash floods so why are flash, flash floods happening so that is climate change impact and all those things but re monitoring and having a mitigation techniques or even disaster man management techniques for that is important and that can be done only when you have the real time operational spatial flood early warning system. So just like analyzing it from the satellites or analyzing it from whatever the uh, resources that you have and giving the warning okay, that next in next 30 minutes or next in 40 minutes in this area there may be flash floods. So if you are able to do that you can actually reduce the disaster that is happening out of it or you can say even at least you can uh, save the lives that are lost in the flash floods. Now development of regional evaporative flux monitoring system for India through satellite that is another you know important component of this NHP project. Then further risk assessment of glacial lake outburst floods. Now this is again few years back there was a severe flood in uh, Ladakh region. Again they were flash floods. Uh, even we had the examples of the Kedarnath what happened at that place. So it, these kind of things like glacial lake outburst or flash floods these can, you can have a risk assessment of that as to okay this is the situation these situations are changing. So in these changes what can happen? We can have these kind of things. So disaster management, disaster mitigation, all those things can be developed out of it. Next is modeling of snow melt runoff in space for Indian Himalayan rivers. Again, that is very important one, Himalayan rivers because of their uh, the snow melts and all those uh, factors, uh, their, their route actually changes from time to time. So that can be monitored or we can create a modeling system for that. And on the basis of that modeling, we can predict the things in future. National hydrological modeling system in operation for the entire country. So this is another important project or component of the NHP project. Then further NHP project uh, further is inputs derived from the satellite data for irrigation scheduling for irrigation project operational hydrological drought services. This also will be done. So for including it now for irrigation, irrigation uh, obviously when the water has to be given to the crops or even uh, what services have to be provided for the droughts and all those things. So overall we can have a, we can have a conclusive kind of mechanism to deal with the irrigation systems. Then 
the important one training and capacity building in remote sensing now this is again very important so remote sensing satellites are there but are we capable of utilizing it to its full potential so for that we will require training and capacity building and geographic information system on a customized basis so this is actually already existing in developed countries uh, like united states and all those things so they are able to uh, manage the disasters much better than what we are but still if you compare the disaster management in india to that of 10 15 years back nowadays we can say we are doing very good and we will be able to do much better if we integrate all these components in the times to come now let's see what is national hydrology project so obviously it has to do with water so let's see what it is it is a central sector effort supported by government of india through the ministry of jal shakti okay so what is it very important ones central sector effort or we can even say central sector scheme or a central sector government project so government of india ministry is ministry of jal shakti earlier this ministry of jal shakti was known as water regeneration and water ministry basically in simplest sense but they have changed the name to jal shakti and the department of water resources river development and ganga regeneration which is a department under the ministry of jal shakti itself uh, regeneration with financial help from the world bank so remember this world bank is helping in the national hydrology project so this is the sentence is full of questions for the prelims examination what the questions are central sectors project ministry of jal shakti department of water resources river development and ganga regeneration and the world bank okay so it is in collaboration with the world bank the project's objective is to expand the breadth and accessibility of water resources information and institutional capabilities in order to support improved water resources planning and management across the india okay so management in simplest terms like in mains examination you have to write you cannot just write this long sentence you can just simply say for the better management of water resources so, and what better management management obviously involves the planning allocations and all those things so it will help in help us in having a better water management now major components of this system are first in situ monitoring system that in situ means exactly at the site not from the external sources so that will be there then spatial information the information about the terrains and the geography of the region so that will be included into that then water resources operation and the management application so how it is utilized in the present times how it can be utilized in the further times so that all will be dealt, dealt over here then we have water resources institutions and the capacity building so there are various water research institute like we have the national water academy in pune so it looks into the water researchers and all those things so that capacity building and all those things will be done water again is like an indispensable source for our living so whatever we may go however advanced we may put water will be required and with the population and the demography of india the management of water is going to be very crucial in the times to come in the good times also and in the bad times also now let's summarize what we have learned so what we have learned we have learned nhp bhuvan portal uh, what it is simply it's a simply a web portal which will be repository for many things then we studied the nhp bhuvan portal in news what was the news because it was inaugurated in 2021 so that's why we are studying this then we studied the nhp project components various components of it then we studied the national hydrological project the significance of it and actually what it is it is a central sector project sponsored by world bank or funded by world bank it's to certain extent and then we studied the major components of hydrology project with that i hope you have understood whatever we have discussed in this particular session about the nhp bhuvan portal that's it for this session see you in another one thank you